Hey guys, how's it going today? My name is Chris and welcome to my channel. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. I appreciate it. Every single one of you I do. Oh. Oh, okay. It's thundering and lightning outside and then Kyle's downstairs playing video games and so I'm hearing noises everywhere. <laughs> So sorry about that. I hope everyone's doing good today and having a great day. So, me, myself, it is uh, 2.45 a.m. And I cannot sleep. So, might as well do a uh, team move all, right? Um, let's see. At the time of recording, this is Sunday morning. So, happy Sunday morning to me and this might be Tuesday when it comes out, so happy day of the week to you. I'm gonna grab this real quick. All right, here's this bag. Nice size bag. I've already opened it up and priced everything and we're ready to go. So let's just dive right in, shall we? Now, let me scoot this closer to me so I'm not reaching all the way over there. La 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 la. Alright, the first thing I did get was another trucker hat with the, the bear paw on it. And this was $4.99. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Alright, so I'm going to take this plastic shaper out of it. And then I got this one in a neon green. And it's got the neon green stitching down here. And the nice, I, I like to call it a trucker hat. Neon green, but this one's for Kyle. Cause he likes that. This was the color of his car. He had a little Chevy Spark when we first met. And this was the color of it. And then someone hit it and drove off and then the insurance decided to total it out when honestly I think all they had to do was replace the tire I don't know what was up with that but whatever right so $4.99 for the trucker hat in the neon green and that one's for Kyle let's see next we have a pin and this was 89 cents And this one, gosh, it's really tiny. There were, uh, sorry. And it's a star. You know how you get those stars like at school, like you get a gold star? This one's a star and it's all misshapen. And it says, your did it. Instead of you did it. Your did it. I just thought it was humorous. So that'll go up on the board with the other ones. There's another little pin laying here for $1.34. And this one is the Silver Shamrock Novelties pin. And then it's got the, the three masks on there. Very cute. Who can tell me what movie that's from? Tell me in the comments down below if you will. All right, I think those are the only two pins that I got for this haul. Next up, let's see, we have, and these I was, I was kind of disappointed, but they were $5.49 and they come all wrapped up individually in there, so let me pull one out. And I think I'm only gonna pull one out because 
I I might send these back because I honestly thought they were I thought they were going to be bigger. I didn't think they were going to be much bigger, but I thought they were going to be bigger. So let me get my cloud cutter out. Sorry, I was going to shake the table a little bit. So, and what these are, are they, they're Halloween trees, like to decorate like a scene with, like on, like on a mantle or on a bookcase or something. And maybe if I can get this out of here, I'll show it to you. I thought I cut the tape all off. Not for nothing, but they're wrapped good. A little too good. I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. All right. And there's four of these in here. And they're not identical, but you get the, the idea. And, I mean, they're cute, but I don't know. For $5.49, four of those... Oh, I'm sweating. I'm sorry. If, I don't know. I will set these aside and think about it. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Throw the plastic over there. Grab another thing out of the bag. Oh, I grabbed two things. Okay. So I'll set one aside. And this is a repurchase by mistake. I should have checked my car, uh, my orders better because I ordered this guy twice. And I think I hauled him in my last haul and it was $3.49 this time. And I think it was a dollar more the last time I got it. I'm not sure. So go back and check that, that video out if you like. Oh, and you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be really cool if you did. So all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell so you get notifications every time I upload a video. And if you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be pretty cool too. I've gotta keep on looking at the green light. I keep looking here. But I think that's a lot of people's, you know, problem. And I said this on the last haul about her, that it would be a good decoration in like a reef, a wreath, or maybe on a, a spooky Halloween tree. I did end up ordering the six foot black tree for, uh, for Halloween. So we will have a spooky Halloween tree. I'm excited. Um, and I, I ended up ordering the lights, some ornaments, a tree skirt with spider webs on it. And then we already have a tree topper if we use one of those witches. Not one of the ones I just showed you, but in my last haul I, I showed two tall witches and they're hollow on the bottom and they're perfect for a tree topper. So. Up next, for eight twenty-three, we have two of these guys in here. I told Kyle today we were watching. I think, I think we were watching my video, and in the last haul, I hauled uh, one of these. No, two of these guys, different style, but I told him. I said the gnomes are going to take over this year. The last two I hauled were candy corn themed. These two, I believe, are witch and warlock. If I can find the end to get this one out, there we go. I will show it to you. And then it has an armature in the hat, so you can bend it. There we go. This one's got a spider hanging off the hat. This one's got the beard. 
his little green nose, fluff up his beard. So there's the one. Let's, let's tilt his head this way. There we go. Get that spider into view. So he's adorable with his little broom. That's cool. I like him. And then the matching sister or wife. Not sister wife. And this one, she's got a spider and she's orange and black. The other one, he was purple and black. Sorry, hold on real quick. She's got her orange little braids, her broom, her spider hanging off the hat. The pocket is just sewing on there. I'm gonna get him out and I'll show you both of them together. Troll? Gnomes? Gnomes? Those are cute. I, I like, like I said, I told Kyle that the gnomes are gonna take over this year for Halloween, cause I think I have another one in here. Oh, I do. And she was three ninety, wait, three ninety nine. She is. Let me get her out and I'll show you. Show you. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder. It's loud and long. Oh, she's cute. All right, so she's got, she's purple and white. Now this hat's crocheted. And then she's got her little orange braids and then she's got a necklace with a spider on it. And she's, oh, she's got a spider up here. Nice. And her little bow. Very cute. Very cute. And they're all gonna look so good around the house. And she was three ninety nine. dollars All right, what's next? Next we have, this was $8.29. And I believe this is a hat box. So we'll open this up and see. I got like fuzzies on my nose. All right, so it comes all folded up. And then, all right, let's see. Come on. Give me one second. Let me scoot back so I can. Ooh. Oh wow, this is big. This is very big. Wow. I got this. Thought it was. I thought it was gonna be smaller. <sighs> So it is a little troubling because the zipper has been all bent up hacking back, but there we go. Look at that, look at the size of that. And it's got a little window in the front and then inside on the bottom, it has two straps to like hold down the hat, the, the like, it, they showed a cowboy hat in this, but I got it not for just the cowboy hat, but for my bling bling hat that y'all saw me haul but for that price that's pretty big and it's got a nice handle on the top and heck i could get another one of these and just throw all my hats in one and then they'd be nice and secure in one area so that i really like that that's really cool and big that's really really big 
Mind blowing! Wow! Alright, up next, oh my. For two seventy nine, <coughs> excuse me. Why do I always have trouble finding the end? There we go. All right, and it is a sailor hat. Do I have that all right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah? No? What do you think, y'all? I don't know. I mean, it's very costumey. No, oh, well. All right, put that over there. Hold on. Come here. All right, stay over there. Don't chew on the cords. Hello. <laughs> All right, up next we have an article of clothing, which I do want to apologize. Um, the last video I did on Saturday, it was uploaded on Saturday, so it would have been the video I, right before this one. I had purchased some clothing and I had every intention of trying them on, getting some pictures for you all. And I tried on like two things and they didn't fit. And I recently just gained like 30 pounds in the past two months. So I'm like, I've been kind of depressed. And, sorry, I've been kind of depressed and dealing with that and getting used to this new body and um, so anyways, the clothes didn't fit. And I just, I gave up on trying on the clothes, the rest of the clothing. So uh, I apologize that there were no, no pictures in that last video. So um, I know someone was rather upset with me um, in my live chat because I don't, uh, I don't put pictures, I don't do try-ons and um, I want to. So maybe it's the fact that I've said and mentioned it before in the past. I'm not sure. But he was rather upset with me, or they were rather upset with me in my live chat. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what size best fits me. Um, and, you know, team is a little different than going out to a store um, and trying on clothes there and picking out the sizes there. Because, honestly, these clothes from Timu, they fit differently. At least for me, they do. I and like I'm having to order 4x. I've never in my life been a 4x, but I guarantee if I go to the store, I won't have to buy a 4x. At least I hope not. So on with the haul. This is a 4x, and it was 6.20, and it is a sleeveless shirt, and it says. Pause. And it's of a kitty cat under the water going after a rubber ducky. And it's cute. And I think it's adorable. So, this is a 4X. And this should fit me. There should be no reason for it now. I did haul this shirt that I'm wearing um, 
maybe like two hauls, three hauls before this one. And this is a 2X in a big and tall. So, I mean, it fits all right. You know, it doesn't, it's okay. So this is a 2X in a big and tall or a plus size. Um, and it fits okay. Uh, I'd like them to be a little bit more looser, um, especially, you know, with all this excess weight, just pushing against this fabric. But anyways, so if it's all right, I'll let you know how that one fits. I'm sure I can do, I will do a picture with this one. You know what? If my belly's hanging out of a dang thing, my belly's hanging out of a dang thing, you know? Up next, we have another article of clothing, and this was four sixty one, and it is a bathing suit, and this is a three XL. Got some good stretch to it. It's a uh, tie string. And I will not be doing a try on and showing you pictures of this. Or should I? So 461 for that. I will uh, let you know if that fits or not. No pictures. Those are extra. All right. Up next. Is it all clothing now? No. We have. Okay. So I got that kilt in the last video. And I tried it on, or tried to, and it was very, very snug. And I got to, got to fit once, like I got it on, got it done up and buttoned. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll have to mess with it a little bit, you know, and um, I was gonna try it on and put it on during my live and show everybody and I couldn't get it back on. I was like, okay, what the heck did I eat? Did I blow it up and I can't get this thing on now? Anyway, so I got this 1429 and this is a skirt for Kyle. And it's just a little blue or turquoise teal. What color would you call this exactly? Blue. Uh, plaid. I, what do you call this? Scalloped at the bottom. And then you've got this corset tie to tighten it around your waist. And this was fourteen twenty nine, which, you know, lately I've been, when I've been doing my hauls, like, I'll get my items in, they'll come to the door, you know, deliver the, uh, the package, and the first thing I do is cut the, cut the package open, take everything out, pull up my phone, get Timu, and pull up the order. And I'm looking at, like, items like this, and the price being fourteen twenty nine, and I think to myself, there's no way I paid Fourteen twenty nine for this. There's no way. And I've done that with several things in the past, like week. Like, I'll get them, and I'll be like, I paid fourteen twenty nine. Really? 
I, I just, I don't know. It's like, and I've double checked to make sure that like, I'm not pulling up the price that it is now. And no, it's from my order. So it must just be my crazy little brain. But $14.29 for this, and this is, it's very cute. It is very cute. And I'm sure Donna would look awesome in it, or will look awesome in it. And I may have to borrow it, you know? Or what, wait, did I buy that for me? Did I buy that for me? I might have bought that for me. Hmm. Well, it was purchased, and the, Kyle or I can use it. Either one. I like sitting around in hot days in a skirt, you know? And the first one I bought was actually from a men's store. Um, from one, And it was from Timu. And it's from that Inserin. Uh, I think the store is called Inserin Men on Timu. But I like a lot of their clothing. I'm just too big for a lot of their clothing. And usually that means tall. Because they do have plus size clothing. But um, I ordered that skirt, the first one I got from them, and I love it. It's all mis misshapen and different lengths and plaid. I like it a lot. All right, so we got a couple tin signs now. And the first one is for Friday the 13th. And there's that. Let me take it out of the plastic. This one was $2.91. And I think it's the least expensive one in here. Take it out of the plastic. So there's that. Oh, there we go. I think that's pretty cool. The red and the black and him standing in the boat. That's I, I like that. That's that's one thing I do like about Timu and their posters and their tin signs is they're very, they're unique. At least to me they are. I don't see these prints anywhere else. Maybe I'm not looking. I don't know. I don't know. But I do enjoy these prints that I get from Timo. So the next one is a Friday the 13th as well. And it says it's a nice place to die. And this one was $5.81. And I believe this is the most expensive one out of here. And this one's a little different than... Like, this is like, you know, see how it folds on the back on each side? This one's just flat. And it's a little more flimsy, lightweight. But here's the front of that. There we go. And it says, Friday the 13th, it's a good place to die, or a nice place to die. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. On the sign right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. And the next one, yeah, that one, the, this last one I showed you, this one, for five something, was the most expensive.